Hi folks, it's Sunday the 16th of August today and it's time for another greenhousey video and I'm going to do another insects versus insect killer. Um, I think today by the looks of it it's going to be spider mites versus detergent. So let's get stuck in. So this tomato plant in greenhouse number one is showing signs of spider mite damage on some of its leaves. So we'll just pick a leaf off here and uh, see what's on there under the microscope. Bound to be something on that. Okay, I'm going to mix up some uh, pesticide. Um, I understand it's uh, about five mil of washing up liquid, I believe you're supposed to use eco-friendly you know biological washing up liquid which this isn't but it should have the same effect it would probably kill the plant afterwards but um, I've already taken the leaf off so, I've got those leaves under the microscope and we can see that there's uh, quite a few bugs crawling around not as many as I'd like but enough for the experiment so we'll give this a spray with our detergent now and uh, record the results so you can see here I gave them a very good drenching with water and well with detergent and water and as soon as they get hit with water they just stop moving they kind of curl up into a little ball and sit there and if you look very closely at them you can actually see kind of ripples in the water next to them as they're I think they're attempting to breathe um, you can't really see on the screen at the moment but after an hour or so and the water's dried up, signs of movement start to return. You can see this guy sitting there twitching his leg and uh, he's clearly not dead. And lots of the young ones around there are looking fine. And then after an hour or two, well, we, we've got signs of movement again. Um, there's certainly quite a few larger ones sitting around not moving. But this little guy here seems to have no problems at all. He's back to full speed again. And we're running at 100 times speed on this video at the moment, just to give you some kind of idea. But uh, certainly not conclusive at this stage. Um, yeah, everything stops moving when it gets wet. But as soon as it dries out, we'll try again here. I gave everything another good drenching. And you can uh, see spider mite sitting there. But once all the water dries off, this young one's up and moving around, apparently backwards. Well, it's been a couple of hours with that leaf under the microscope, but um, I'm not convinced of the results here, so I've got myself a fresh one, which I think has got a few more mites crawling around on it. So I'm gonna give that one a try instead. So, as before, I gave this new leaf quite a thorough drenching, and as before, all the spider mites that were there just stopped moving immediately, no signs of movement at all. And I've left the camera fixed in one position here. We're again running at 100 times speed but you can see the water slowly drying out on the leaf and sorry the shot goes somewhat out of focus because I wasn't there to adjust the focus all the time but you can see the leaf drying out there and as the water dries out from around the spider mites I think when their tummies get dry they kind of shake themselves off a bit and start moving again so you should see any second now they're going to be back on the move again here we go, there's one waking up in the bottom of the screen there, and they're up and they're off again. So, um, it certainly seems to slow the adults, the larger spider mites, down a lot more than it slows down the young ones. I don't know if they're less able to hold their breath, or if they just haven't fully dried out yet and have decided to just sit around for a bit longer. But the little babies are up and moving quite rapidly again. And uh, that one there, just gone across the screen, is one of the spider mite predators. So um, having spotted that one, I thought I'd have a look around the leaf and see if I could find some more because uh, it's certainly a good sign that we found one on this single leaf when uh, I wasn't sure if any of them were alive. And just looking around the leaf, um, I found loads of them, plentiful supply, and they are so fast. They just move at a ridiculous rate compared to the spider mites. It's like they've got to be 10 times the speed of the mites. Now, I wasn't sure if this is a spider mite predator actually attacking one of the spider mites there. Um, certainly seems to be having a little probe. I'll just try and get some better footage of these predators. They're called Phytocyelus. And uh, 
I'm not sure how often they eat spider mites. I know they breed faster than the spider mites do, but I was trying very hard to find some footage of um, one of these predators actually attacking a spider mite. Um, go, go on, go, right next to you, right next to you, go on, bite him. But um, no, and here's a really good look at one cleaning his mandibles. Um, it's very hard to get the focus on this. But um, as I was looking around all of this, I spotted something else quite interesting. So here, here's a couple of predators sitting on one of the webs of the spider mites, and they seem quite happy to use those just to get around. They don't get stuck up in them at all. But um, the these two here seem very interested in each other and um, I, I think we might be out about to see something um, rather beautiful happening here. Okay, here we are in greenhouse number one for a quick look around. And you can see my brandy wine here that Trace Waters sent me, thank you Trace, is um, taking over everywhere in the world. It starts off somewhere down there, got one fork going up over there, second fork coming up over here. And uh, no shortage of tomatoes formed on there, looking very good. Good couple of dozen on there. Um, peppers. Got some peppers ready to harvest. I'm going to harvest those today because I'm going to be spraying all these plants with a neem oil and detergent mix. Tomatoes putting out quite nicely. These tomatoes are a bit set back by spider mites it seems, as we've just seen, but not looking too bad. Strawberries. Oh, look at that one up there. I shall be eating that in just a second. But yes, strawberries are generally bouncing back quite well now. Um, still not amazing, but you know, better than they were when they were all dead. So um, really not looking too bad there. And over in the Dutch buckets, a couple of peppers covered in diatomaceous earth, so looking a bit strange at the moment. Got my pea that I planted last weekend. I need to get some white back plastic on that to stop the algae forming. And a couple of cauliflowers there, and peppers coming on nicely. Now these peppers would have been doing a lot better 
But um, it seems I unplugged the Dutch buckets at some point uh, a few weeks ago and it took me a week or two to realise that they weren't plugged in. But um, no harm done, thankfully. So, looking good. Oh, and this clone strawberry plant that I made, which was already flowering when I cloned it, well, yeah, it's coming along nicely, though now starting to show a bit of spider mite damage on the leaves. And I started another clone going last weekend, so that's only had a week in the rails, but uh, yeah, growing, not dead yet. I'm in greenhouse number two. This is my sweet aperitif tomato in the corner, which is looking just superb at the moment. This is the kind of production I was getting last year. It's much more like it, and this plant isn't beset by pests and spider mites and things. Got a brand new iron sat next to it in a five litre bucket, and uh, we've got four big red ripe fruit ready to go at the bottom there. Got another one growing in there, so quite happy with that, and some more sweet aperitif there. My son's butter bean plant I've cut right back because it had all been uh, killed off by the spider mites, so um, see if that has a chance now. Um, sun cherry red cherry hybrid that Trace sent me, looking superb. I'm going to be harvesting all the ripe fruit off that today. And uh, another brand new one here that's taking over this greenhouse. Quite a lot of fruit on that, but most of it's hanging down on the floor or uh, not really in convenient places. But hopefully it will be okay. And uh, my remaining golden berry is putting out some new growth, finally. So it um, looks like the predators or the neem oil or the diatomaceous earth is doing the trick on there. So I'm going to be giving that another spray today as well. Well, it appears that I never actually recorded an end sequence for this video back in August, so um, here, here's some footage of a rabbit instead. Anyway, as always folks, thanks for watching, I hope you enjoyed this. Um, if you liked it, a thumbs up is always appreciated. Um, have a good weekend, cheers!